this is our last video of the Mum's Problem series. Um, for this year anyway, because it's coming up to Christmas, so I'm going to have some Christmas videos from next week. So, our last subject is social situations, or hashtag social embarrassing situations yeah. with our children. I'll kick this one off with a recent one in the doctor surgery where Faith and AJ were having a really good time even though the doctor was running 45 minutes late I was trying to keep them as entertained as possible I wasn't prepared for 45 minutes late so I didn't have the iPads or sweets or whatever but I was trying to make them laugh and I did my best for a 45 minute late appointment in a surgery full of people who weren't that you know um, forthcoming with children who were screaming they were laughing, they were loud, the receptionist kicked off because they were loud and then I kicked off with her and then it ended in me crying, Faith crying because I was crying and AJ screaming at the receptionist in the job of surgery and I haven't been back. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my really embarrassing social situation and I don't know how else to deal with it because I got so emotional with the fact that somebody else was telling me how to keep to my children yeah, yeah. Quiet when they were happy. When yeah. they were happy. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't like even though they yeah. were loud. Yeah, they were they loud, were but they were happy. Yeah, like that for me. That that's that is the be all, that end all. Keeping my children happy in a situation where they could literally kick off. And I was getting told off for that. So then I kicked off. Yeah, and, you know what I like. <laughs> How dare you tell me? Do you have small children? And then, you know, my Georginess came out a little bit. But um, <laughs> hence I've never been back to the surgery. But I, I didn't think that she was right in saying what she was saying. Yeah. I've never been, been better yeah. for her to be supportive yeah. and say, is there anything we do to help or like entertaining or just even being friendly? So I've yeah. had a, a similar situation where my kids are kicking off and not in a good way, not in a friendly, like laughing way, <laughs> in a full tantrum. I lost the plot also and I was at my wits' end screaming at my kids and another lady a mum came over and not didn't judge me wasn't mean wasn't horrible she just chatted to the kids and encouraged them and i was so grateful i could have cried she just took over the situation was really chirpy and chipper friendly and it it ended up just taking everyone out of the situation and distracting everyone to the point that i was like thank you saving yeah. women yeah. and it was so much nicer than just feeling like Oh my God, They're all no. going mad, yeah. I'm being judged, I don't know what to do, I'm losing the plot, it, and it spirals. If yeah. someone just comes and does something kind to lift you out of it, it's way more about support than someone telling you off. Yeah, it's it's never, like never was the case, yeah. yeah. How, how have you dealt with situations on airplanes, has everyone done long haul? Mine has been yeah. horrendous. Oh really? It, Lissy was an absolute gem throughout every single flight that we've been on, but since Jude, when he was about a year old, we flew back from Spain and he he screamed, and not even cried, but he screamed the whole way home. Literally until we was about to land, and everyone, there was people putting their fingers in their ears, moved seats, oh. no one come up to me and said anything, like they didn't, they didn't support me or anything, and I literally sobbed the whole the whole flight. Did you see the thing with me? It was awful. It was the worst flight ever, and I vowed never ever to go on a flight with him again until he understood. Yeah. Of like, you know, if you're quiet, you can have this or you can have that, and I I didn't want to go on a flight with him again. It scarred me for but a little so while. But so much of it is the way you're but, like you're so worried about what everyone else yeah, is thinking. Yeah, and, and the thing is, what <clears throat> really upsets me that people, even if even if they haven't had children, they must have had children brought yes. up around them. Yeah, yeah that they, they must, must understand that. Yeah. Like there was nothing. He was he was um, just over a year. He was um, thirteen months. That even bribing him with certain it's things it is not going to work. Yeah. Like he was so young, mm -hmm. but people were still like moving seats, putting their fingers in their ears, looking at me, giving me dirty looks, yeah, and everything. So Do you know what I hate hey, when you're on a flight oh, and you hear somebody else say to the air stewardess, "Excuse me, but can you move my seat? I'm sat next mm. to a little kid." Yeah, and I hate that. Yeah. That makes me want that little kid to be a right brat yeah. Yeah. to yeah. make yeah. his flight more uncomfortable because 
we've all had, most of us have had kids, we've all been a kid. Yeah. That's it. The yeah, bottom yeah. line is that that man who was really rude but yeah. sitting next to a kid has been a kid. Yeah. So he's been that annoying kid yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. He should have sympathy with that. I appreciate that it's not ideal, but then if it's not f ideal, pay for a first class ticket it, yeah, yeah. and sit where Stop children up. aren't well, allowed. Do, do if it it's that big a deal, then don't sit in economy yeah. with us. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Like, that's the way I got only flights, so there's a big thing about it. Is it? it? And, and I literally, it, I when I got off that flight, like, Bald yeah. my eyes out. I'm not so, yeah. my husband was saying to me, Why are you crying? Why are you crying? You're never ever gonna see these people again. Mark I always said that. Mark my heart out. But you get so you, upset. I saw You're so concerned about what other people yeah. are doing. And why? why? That's yeah, that's what, what you do. But you do though. Maybe this is it. Maybe we should just all care less. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have a glass of wine. Have a gin. Even if it's yeah. a nice cup of wine. Yeah. But honestly, like I sobbed and sobbed and sobbed and so I was like, please don't cry any more than what you're crying, like, because. You're never ever yeah. going to see them people again, ever. It's so hard because so I'm, I'm in situations where I suppose it's a little bit different. So people, people may, may recognize yeah, you and people whatever, may judge yeah. me a little bit more. So you I'm aware like, that oh, people have their cameras or cameras for like like yeah. today we're at football with AJ and three tables out of the canteen were all on their phones, you know, filming, taking pictures. Not that I'm like a master star in it, but like in a small cafe, yeah. it's a bit different. Mm -hmm. And so they were Googling and they were like, is it, isn't it? I felt self-conscious. If AJ is kicking off, then I feel really self-conscious. AJ was kicking off a little yeah. bit. He was up, he was down, he was throwing food. I was like, AJ, AJ, I'm gonna kill you, AJ. AJ, come here, baby. Come here, mummy loves you. Mummy's <laughs> going to a new girl. And, and then people are looking and then judging me as a mum and how I deal with it. If I was at home, I'd be like, right, you go to that naughty step yeah. right now. But in a social situation, I felt like I didn't have the power to be that strict because I felt like somebody else was going to judge me if you're a mom, or my parents. You're the mum. But, but a lot of people don't, don't, yeah. don't see that who aren't parents. Yeah, but you need to affect your life. For but that, that moment, it did. You see, you, you see when I get uncomfortable. Yeah. You see that, I feel, and I think that's what people don't really get with the industry is that we're not all big headed and think yeah. that we're earless or whatever. We feel vulnerable. Yeah. When you when, when people are judging us or looking yeah. at us, I feel like I wanna hide away and cry. And they never people don't think like that. People think, Oh look yeah. at her, she thinks she's a bee's knees. Not at no. all. I literally wear a hat because yeah. I want to hide. It's not to wear a hat because I think I'm, you know, whatever. It's because I feel vulnerable and trapped, and people are staring. And sometimes, yeah. when I'm with my kids, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. Kids behave no matter what kind of parent you are. Yeah. Be the best parent Regardless. in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. your children are going to play up. Yeah. If I'm in the shopping centre and my child starts misbehaving, and I wouldn't think twice of putting my child in timeout yeah. and letting them scream the place down in front of all the other parents yeah. and letting everyone look at me. If I saw a woman. Could put a child in there, I'd walk past and high five her and say, Well, yeah. you did a great yeah. job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's need what we need. That's that's what yeah. need. We need yeah. to be able to show that support so that you're not sobbing and so that yeah. somebody else can come and like just go, Do you want me to hold him for a second or do you want me to yeah. do something? Yeah. Like, I literally, like, <laughs> do you want even, me to now, take <laughs> even now, like, I could cry about the situation. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it was totally. so, so bad. It but if so someone bad. else had just but come no and lifted one, you out of it. No one, not even air shieldess, not even people around me that actually supported me. Like, it was so, so bad. bad. That's what yeah. we need to get out And that's why I'm, less, I'm like... No, have I'm you know it's like you've been? Yeah, have you noticed when you're on planes that you're around other families with children? I yeah. think they do that yeah. deliberately. Yeah. And yeah. trains as well. Hard. When you write, when when, yeah. when you book your tickets and it's like an under two or an under three, yeah. you you're around you're other around families. All of the yeah, people. yeah. And I get I do understand that. Yeah. But but some maybe we should sympathise a little bit more, yeah. right? Because we're all on the same board. Support. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We don't care so much about what other people think because we're just human. Yeah. 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 We Everyone. are. Makes us say everyone yeah. goes through bad times and like yeah. it's not that we're bad parents. Just your kids. You know, know how, how to have a bad day. Yeah, you know, have a bad day. Everyone yeah. has a bad day. Oh, when you're on a flight, have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> right, on that note, we're going to leave you. Love you and leave you. That is the end of our
Mum's Problem series Yay. for this year anyway. This was the first series that we've done. Um, if it's really successful, we're going to do another one. We've got loads more topics that we'd love to talk about. And um, I'm sure you guys want to share some with us. So if you do, please comment on the below video with any suggestions for further videos and future subjects. Um, I hope you liked it. Hit like. Please hit subscribe, share it, um, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.